Hello friends and fans, welcome to your astrology horoscope. The joke in astrology horoscope that is the mainstream astrology horoscope. For August 29th and 30th, thank you for being here. It is a remarkable couple of days without a doubt. Big moves happening in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I I just want to admit that I was kind of, you know, taking, you know, Nadia Shaw's intro. I'm sorry for doing that. Um, she is going to be away in September to go to a retreat and to take a break and to go into um, some, you know, internal uh, self-reflective time and go on sort of a spiritual um, nirvana path of her own. But that does not give me permission and it's not an excuse to use her introduction. So I apologize. But anyway, so we have a lot going on for August 29th, August 30th, 2022. Let's start talking about it. The first thing that I want to say, now I want to get into more than just the astrology on this video. Far more than just what's going on in the sky. Let's start talking about August 29th. So I'm going to break it down day by day. So August 29th, we have the birthday of Michael Jackson. And Michael Jackson suffered because he couldn't love himself and couldn't accept himself for who he was. Always looking in the mirror to see, do I look good? Is my skin, well, that's the very thing, because if you know the story, and you may wonder, why does he look the way he does? Well, there was a skin problem that occurred and may I just tell you that tomorrow, Sunday, if you are planning to make any salmon dish, I would postpone it until the next day, okay? Because August 29th is not the day to eat salmon of any kind. That's what I want to say. Especially if it has any kind of like a French type sauce. And I know because I just had salmon with like an Asian glaze um, on August 23rd and not August 29th. But so Michael Jackson's music and the, you know, the straight room, the, you know, the Iron Man type performances where he was getting out on stage and really, um, you know, being big and loud. And of course, when he was little, when he, you know, didn't have the skin, you know, shoe. Uh, the um little kids type do 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 you know if you've ever heard a song like that then know where it came from um but so you know there was an oprah show an interview of michael jackson you can go check it out so that's my little acknowledgement of his birthday now the other birthday on august 29th happens to be a personal one for me. This is the birthday of um, a friend that I had that was very Virgo, let's say, um, but sort of steered toward more of the attention deficit hyperactivity disorder range. Now, just in turn, I'm not trying to stereotype the sign. I'm not trying to put it in a box. Virgo can be very nervous and hyper. And someone with, you know, ADHD gets distracted, you know, moves physically, rolls up the scroll that he or she needs to present and ruins the neatness of it well before, well, they would be called up to present their presentation on an Indian tribe that they did for a fifth grade social studies class. And that is 
example I'm using because that was, you know, that actually happened in my life. Um, and there are other things that happened as well, but, you know, I'm not going to go into um, all those things. But uh, it's tricky because you have a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. You have an on and off switch. One at one circumstance, you're, you know, kind and, you know, friendly and um, easy to get along with, um, you know, lots of fun, easy going, etc. Then really annoying, very irritating, and very, um, really just, you know, just making the person cringe and feel very uh, uncomfortable and on eggshells and, you know, like they have to kind of, you know, hold their breath before, you know, the next thing happens, before the next, you know, impulsive taser or impulsive, you know, event that just occurs out of the blue. Did I really say that? Um, but so anyway, um, it's a good thing to be aware of. You know, love yourself and calm down and get grounded. Those are three very, very simple things. Love yourself, calm down, get grounded. Meditate, journal, you know the drill. So that's August 29th. Then we have August 30th. What is going on on August 30th? Well, Cameron Diaz's birthday, who played in that teacher. You can go check it out. Virgo Aries. I believe that her moon is in the Aries. You can also find her in the new movie, Annie. And so basically, there's one song in that movie where she doesn't want to be in this apartment with girls and wants to go out and, you know, have a dream life and get on TV and etc. And, and then it's kind of her dream. But with Virgo, it's so pressed in to the mundane, having to take care of the, the details of everyone's stuff and, you know, do all those things and, and uh, you know, the servant and the, you know, the martyr at worst. So that's where that comes from. What was the other thing I was going to say? Um, then the sort of true to yourself song in the later part of the movie. But so anyway, the astrology. We have the moon moving into Libra. Virgo, Sun, Libra, Moon is a very, very artistic combo. They know how to put things in their place. Feng Shui, talk about wonderful. So you have uh, your house and you decorate it and you design it and you um, organize it by how beautiful it is and also how efficient it is for you, your soul, and your body. That's very, very Virgo Libra. Um, at worst, you can get caught up in the beauty of how things can be particular and keep straightening things out when they don't need to be straightened out or adjusted in your house. So if there is ever any day where you want to redecorate, these are those couple of days. Now, um... The individual created is a very artistic oriented individual, very artsy person. <clears throat> Arts and crafts would be really, really high on the charts. Very Pinterest, like if you, if you go on Pinterest and see what's going on with people's, you know, designs and, you know, things they want to sell, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so we have that going on. Then on August 29th, we have the Moon and Mercury conjunct. And this means that we not only can feel our feelings, but intellectualize and talk about our feelings to whoever is around us in our world. Don't hold it in, but voice what you really mean, what's really true to you, what you feel really, really passionate about, what's really important to you at this time. You know, balancing the logic, the, the you know, the mind, because Moon and Libra is very um, uh, intellectual and wants to refine um, emotions and very uh, peaceful and charming 
and um, you know, labor is also a very graceful sign. Um, it's really how you deal with any kind of crisis situation. Like if you have a, you know, a, you know, worth the death of a family member or, you know, or somebody's in hospital. And so, you know, I mean, I should know this because I do have my moon in Libra. Um, so, you know, that's going on. Um, so... Then on the 30th of the month, we have the moon trining Mars. And so moon Mars just on its own, um, really, you know, kind of, you know, it's a wonderful time to get strong about what you feel. Um, you may really, really do great in an argument. You may really fight or fight in an argument. However, you need to be careful of being too um, argumentative and going off on a temper tantrum. So find the off button, like the Gazula Zemp type person who was all haywire and didn't know how to sit down in the chair. And when she sat down in the chair, then she found that her body transformed and relaxed. So that's a little medicine for that. So thanks for tuning in. This was a longer video than usual. This is the joke of astrology. Alfie Zane.